Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's um, May the 15th, Monday, and uh, these are the charts of the day. Well, interesting day on Wall Street. The markets had a good session. Um, lots of stocks we followed did well, and let's take a look at a couple dozen of them. Um, AI, which is a stock that really broke down hard after getting hammered here to support and bouncing, then broke down, um, but held around the high teens, around 17, 16 three quarters to be exact, and then spiked up to today coming from 1890 to 2431 finished 2378 up 436 that's the 22 and a half percent gain mine was a solid 53 million shares and it closed above the 50 so now i'm looking to see if it can get over the resistance of 25 tomorrow which is your target for tomorrow beyond that maybe 29 or 30 may be doable again finale exploded across this declining top sign and um is now up from the 23 and a half area that it was just a couple weeks ago to today's 32 and change. You can see we're up against resistance in here, so keep an eye on that level because we break through. We'll probably test the October high at 35, and then we're looking at 39.40. ELOX with a special day exploded from 354 to 1478, um, and after hours was trading around nine and a half as it backed off. But nevertheless, a very strong day with volume of 13.4 million shares. Um, looks to me like stock has energy that can bounce it, maybe even extend it, I should say, towards 20 at some point. Well, low price insurance company Heritage really has had a good time of it in the last six months as it's run from a buck in the 20 to over five today. Today, jumping another 55 cents or 12 percent. 400,000 traded, which isn't big, but it's a thinly traded stock. The target, six. INOD broke out over a triple top. Yesterday, it followed through, I should say Friday, followed through today, got up to as high as 10.19. I'm trading 9.84 after hours, 55 cents gain. Looks to me like the target's around 11.5, and then we're looking at 14. IONQ in the fifth wave up off the low, which has saw uh, the December low down in the 305 range, has uh, more than doubled, and today closing at 7.13. Up another 78 cents at 12%. My target now, 8.5. Joe B, a swing trade. Snap, snap back today, gaining 24 cents or 5 percent. It's up against the neckline of a big um, multi month base pattern. Breakout here gets you to five and a half, six, and even seven. LABU advancing another 47 cents or 7 percent today is up against resistance. If we can get through seven to three quarters, 770 range, you might see stock at nine, nine and a quarter. Rocket Pharmaceuticals looking at the overall pattern has been a nice rising channel for a year now, but in the last several months coil before the recent breakout they got up to resistance and then pulled back to test the breakout point and moving average support that held today as the stock had an engulfing reversal bar from the 20 1920 to 2237 range up at more than three points off the low and a dollar 34 net net gain on the day at almost seven percent your target and and your objective is to get to 23 and a quarter then we're looking at 26 and 29. SANA, Tech Trader Swing, popped out. We put a swing on. It's been beautiful following through. Today, especially, jumping $1.15 or 18% on 3.3 million. My target now, eight and three quarters. SD in the oil sector had a big pop out of a base pattern today and jumped from 1604 to uh, 15, excuse me, to 1684 and finished at 1604, up a buck 20 or 8%. My near term target is 18. My secondary target is 19 and a half, 20. Big day for SRPT, trading was halted, the stock popped, exploded, and netted up 36.70, a gain of 30%, 8 million share traded, big breakaway gap. You can see that the spike high in March, which was 159.84, was matched today with 159.89 for the bit of a pullback. But right now my follow through target is 180. SURG popped Friday. With a little bit of a gap, and today had a huge engulfing reversal bar. First dipping to 476 and then ripping at 650, finishing 605, up 18.6 percent. And my near term target now is 754. TO broke out of a coil in March and kept running, and it's still running today. An engulfing bar, 12.4 percent gain, up 36 cents to two to 326, and it traded over 10 11 million shares. Um, if we can get through this zone here. You might have a target in the five and a half range. Upstart breaking out of a base, 
Kind top sign moving averages all broken through, then pull back. And today had a big engulfing bar that engulfed the last three days, almost, just about almost. 16 to 20 at 64, 2037 finish up 398, 24% gain, looking awfully good for more upside. My targets are 21, three quarters, 23, and 25. Weight watches recovered a little bit today, jumping 53 cents or almost 8%. Well, I picked up a little 7.9 million. My target now is a re retest. First of all, fill the gap at 814 and then make a move towards nine, nine and a half. And finally, YMAB, which broke out last week and pulled back for a couple of days, looks like it's resuming its advance today with a game of $1.60 or 18%. Nearly a million traded or 920,000 traded. And more importantly, my targets are 12 and a half and 14 and a half, three quarters. And that's it. I'll look at some of the hot stocks at thetechtrader.com. Good night.